Hey everyone, and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. 3D modeling programs typically have quite the learning curve, often requiring extensive documentation and tutorial after tutorial to teach you just the basics. Today, I want to show you a 3D modeling program designed to be as intuitive as possible. Let me introduce you to Doodle 3D Transform, which strives to bring the ease of pen and paper to 3D modeling. First of all, full disclosure, Doodle 3D is free to try out, but requires a monthly subscription to save doodles and to export them as STLs for 3D printing. Doodle 3D provided me a license key to use to get to know the software, but there is no money changing hands, I'm not making commission or anything like that, and all of the thoughts expressed here are mine and only mine. There are no ulterior motives, I just found this program to be interesting enough to want to share it with all of you. Now let's get to the software itself. So when you create a new doodle, you're brought to this screen with a two-dimensional grid on the left and a three-dimensional plane on the right. And in order to get started, you just simply click and start drawing on the two-dimensional side, and this will create a surface on the three-dimensional side. So if I were to go over here, you see that it draws that shape in three dimensions. And you can draw whatever kind of shape you want, and it will simply just close it up when you are done. Now there's many tools you can use in order to draw over here. Uh, you don't just have to do it freehand, you can also use their line tool and be able to create uh, lines with a given size and dimension and get nice straight edges. Um, you can do a uh, kind of a filled brush so you can create shapes and kind of use that brush. You can also use an eraser that acts pretty much the opposite of the brush and be able to eat away shapes. And as I make changes over on the 2D side, you see that the three-dimensional side changes. Um, there's also shapes you can use, pre-made stamps. Uh, you have your kind of square shape. You have your triangles. Um, you can do hearts. So it has a nice little nifty little heart shape here. Uh, you can also do uh, star shapes and be able to modify what those stars look like. Um, and there's a few other that you can uh, go and try out. Now you notice over here that all of these are just surfaces at this point. They're not solid objects. In order to do that, you can use the Fill tool in order to give it color. Uh, so with the Fill tool selected, I can just select the shape and it will fill it in completely. Um, and you can also select shapes and be able to move them or scale them or rotate them uh, in order to modify those parts. Now, these are all two-dimensional shapes. Now, what can you do on the three-dimensional side? Well, over here, you see when I selected a shape, we had these handles. And you can grab these handles in order to increase or decrease the size. You can make them float. You can grab the center one to move them vertically. Um, or, like I said, you can just grab the shape over to the 2D side in order to move them uh, in the 2D plane. But you can do more than just move these parts. Um, over here is a way to modify the uh, the tops and the bottoms so you can make it grow or you can make them shrink but you can also uh, add your own handles and be able to give really complex shapes just by clicking and dragging these handles so you can see we created a rather complex uh, three-dimensional shape just by a few clicks here and if I increase this size we can show off uh, the third thing you can do with the three-dimensional side they have this uh, spiral mode so you can click and drag and it will rotate the top uh, either clockwise or counterclockwise and give a nice kind of rotation. This is really good if you want to 3D print uh, spiral vases. Makes it really easy to design. And you can combine parts. Uh, so if I go over here and I select these two pieces and I move them kind of together, um, you'll see that they merge into basically one entity over here. Uh, so you can combine colors or shapes of the same color into a single object. Now if you didn't want that to happen, you can give them a different color and it won't combine them. Uh, you can see that they're two separate entities there. Um, you can also select multiple objects at once. So I can select a few of them and move them or scale them together. It makes it really easy to create box shapes. So you could create a uh, shape over here. Let me rotate the 3D view. Um, so I can create a square over here. I can duplicate that and then increase the size. So you can see now I have two boxes. And if I select both those shapes, 
we have in the center here options in order to uh, to align objects. So if I s select both of these, we have now centered a square within a square, and that allows me to use the fill tool to give these interiors different colors. So then I can come over here and be able to modify those. So I can like shrink the uh, the inside portion here to create kind of a uh, a box bottom. I can then select this side and be able to change how it looks and just create some interesting three-dimensional models uh, quite easily. Another awesome feature is the ability to bring in pictures in order for you to use as part of your drawing. So say I have a reference photo that I want to use, I can import this photo directly into Doodle 3D. But what you can also do is you can select an area and you can click and drag and have it highlight areas and when you release it you'll see that it goes and creates that outline of whatever color whatever section that you clicked and dragged it will create the outline for you so if I zoom over here and I click in uh, the black area of his mouth I can click and drag and as I drag you see that it highlights um, the area that it's going to create and when I release it goes and it creates that so it makes it really easy to kind of copy sections and use photos as part of your uh, your doodles your drawings um, you can do this with any color so if I select an area so say this shaded dark portion over here um, I select this little shaded dark portion you can see as I move away from the circle uh, it kind of just increases the area that it thinks that it's going to select. So it selects like similar colors and shades. Um, so you can control exactly how much uh, it tries to outline there. So it makes it, again, really easy to use photos. Um, if it's not quite acting how you want it to, you can always just grab the, uh, the stencil tool and be able to draw and just use the pen as you normally would. So after you've created your 3D model, you can export it. And you can export it either as an STL or an OBJ, which is great for sending to a 3D printer. Or if you have a 3D printer that's connected over Wi-Fi, you can print directly from Doodle 3D. You can also send it to a variety of services. So you can have it 3D printed by someone else from 3D Hubs or Shapeways or Formide. Um, you can also share your design directly on Thingiverse or as a Sketchfab uh, object. Um, and you can also just save it as a sketch and you can come back to it later if you want to make tweaks uh, inside of Doodle 3D. So these are all of the ways that you can save and export uh, these various models. Now Doodle 3D Transform is a browser based application so you can just go to your web browser, go to their website and start trying it out. Which means you can do it on your desktop, your laptop, your tablets, uh, you can do it on your phone even. Um, it is a very, uh, very fun program to just play around with and touch screens make it awesome. But you can also do some pretty cool stuff using just your normal mouse. So thank you all for watching my little introduction to Doodle 3D. I hope that you go to their website and try it out for yourself because it is a lot of fun and it's really easy to just jump in and start creating these 3D models. Um, it was a lot more intuitive than I thought it would be. I haven't really seen anything like this before. Uh, so yeah, go give it a try. Let me know in the comments if you tried it out and what you think of it. Um, and uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all next time.